Hello guys. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some very important tips on how to be safe with indoor plants and how to stay safe with indoor plants that's in your home. There's so much talk about indoor plants being poisonous to humans and pets, so I wanted to make a video sharing with you several tips on house plant safety. Before I share the tips, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Tip number one, always wash hands and other body parts after handling or touching any house plants. Not only should you wash your hands at home after handling them, but after touching or handling them at plant nurseries or garden centers. Most of the garden centers I visit have bathrooms, so there's no excuse not to wash your hands after touching the plants. As much as we love these beauties, we should always think about them as if they could harm us. I've had the pleasure of owning indoor plants, and I mean, it's really my pleasure to own them for over 30 years, and I always touch them, handle them, and clean them freely without any worries or concern of them harming me. Just as I do when I handle things like raw meats, cleaning products, dirty clothes, hair products, and many other daily things I come into contact with. I wash my hands immediately after handling, handling those things and I treat my houseplants the same. So watch those hands because you never know what's going on with those beautiful plant babies. Tip number two. Just for the sake of being cautious, try not to touch your eyes, nose, ears, lips, children, pets, and food while handling or after handling your indoor plants. Again, just simply wash up. Tip number three. If you notice any signs of pests, insects, fungus, and or bacteria on the plant or soil, put some protective gloves on. Move the plant away from your other plants and try getting rid of the problem as soon as possible. If you feel that the infected plant is beyond the point of saving it from the infestation of bacteria or pests, dispose of it by getting rid of it. Don't keep the nursery pot or reuse the potting mixture the plant was in, but rather get rid of it. If you want to keep the pot, just sanitize it with some sanitizing solution that you know will kill the bacteria and fungus before reusing it. But for me, I would toss it out and not reuse it. Tip number four, be careful about the potting soil and the ingredients in the soil that your indoor plants are planted in. I was told that the soil and some of its ingredients might contain dust particles that could be harmful to you if inhaled or consumed. 
Again, the best way to combat this issue is to always wash your hand after handling the soil and immediately clean up any soil that you waste on floors, tables, or countertops. Then clean those areas where the soils touch. To protect from inhaling any of the dust particles, wear a protected nose mask when repotting. Be careful about the dust particles being circulated from the uses of ceiling fans, air conditioning blowing, and heaters blowing. Try not to use potting mixtures outside on a windy day. Again, try not to touch any parts of your face while handling the potty mixtures. Tip number five. Teach your children not to touch plants indoors or outdoors. Keep plants away from your pets, whether you know them to be poisonous or not. That's for the safety of the plants the children's, and the pets. That way you don't have to worry about which plants are known to have toxins or not. Tip number six. Be watchful over your pets to ensure that they never drink the drain water from your indoor plants. So keep that drained water away from little humans and pets by throwing the drained water away as soon as possible. If you water your plants with cups and glasses, make sure you wash them well with dish soap and water. Then rinse well before you or your family use them again. Don't make the mistake or seeing that one of your plants needs some water and you pick up a glass and fill it with water and water the plant and then sip the glass back on the table or in a sink. Keep your family safe by washing it immediately after watering the plant or don't use them to water your plants. Tip number seven. Be very careful displaying your indoor plants near food prep areas and eating areas such as in your kitchen and on your dining room tables. Some plants, I am told, contain some types of toxins that can make you, your family, and pets sick. I love displaying and decorating my kitchen countertops with indoor plants. At all times, my countertops are beautifully decorated with several houseplants. But before I start my food prepping, cooking, and eating, I remove all plants from the counters and place them in another part of my house. Then I wash my hands and clean and sanitize the counters where the plants were sitting. After we finish eating and cleaning, I then place my beautiful plant babies back on the countertops where they look amazing. That's also true for the areas in your home where you dine and eat your meals. I love decorating and displaying my plants on my dining table, but before we eat, I remove all the plants from the dining table then I wash my hands and clean the dining table before placing my cooked food on the table. After eating and cleaning up, I place my plants back on the dining table until our next meal. Also, 
If you place any plants near your table setting, make sure to wash them very good with liquid soap and warm water and rinse well before using them. That applies to all your dishes, glasses, eating utensils such as forks, spoons, etc. and your table mats. Most of the time, the setting you usually see in my videos are mostly used for decorations only, so I don't have to worry about washing them. But for the ones I do use, I wash them very good before using them, especially if they came in contact with the house plants on the table. I try to keep the plants on the table away from the table setting so I don't have that problem. Again, guys, this is just for the sake of being safe while having houseplants in your home. I know you're probably thinking that that's a lot of work, Mrs. Abby, to be removing plants every meal. But it's really not that much work, guys. If you are properly displaying them, it takes me less than a minute to remove my plants from the kitchen countertops where I full prep. Then it takes me about another minute to sanitize the area where the plants were sitting. So guys, really, it doesn't take that long. Tip number eight. Know if your houseplants are causing you to have an allergic reaction. I'm not a doctor, so I can't tell you about allergic reactions to houseplants and what causes you to have that reaction. But I've been told that some people are indeed allergic to some houseplants. So in that case, I know you don't want to own any of the indoor plants that you are allergic to. My allergies act up when I go outside around certain outdoor trees, bushes, and recently mowed grass. So I know what it feels like to be allergic to something. My eyes get inflamed, itchy, and swells. I get congested and my throat gets itchy and burns. So when I know I'm going to be outside around mowed grass and those tight bushes and trees, I wear a mask over my nose to protect myself from having an allergic reaction. Thank God I haven't owned a houseplant yet that I'm allergic to. But if I do, I will simply get rid of it and replace it with a plant that I'm not allergic to. So, problem solved. Tip number nine. If you use your sink when watering your plants, make sure to clean the sink behind each watering. Once the plant comes into contact with the sink, you don't want to use it until you clean it. This is how I wash my sink after using it when watering my plants. I usually clean the entire sink and force it.
Number 10. Be careful putting indoor plants in your bedroom. I'm very selected when it comes to putting indoor plants in my bedroom. I only place plants in my bedroom that I know are free from pests, bugs, insects, bacterials, and fungus. I never place a newly bought plant in my bedroom. I like to keep it a while and inspect it several weeks and sometimes months before I place it in my bedroom. I want to go to sleep at night knowing that I have no issues with the plants in my bedroom. I'm also that way with the plants I put in my kitchen. I place them in my bedroom, but I remove them from my nightstand before I go to bed. And I place them in another area in my bedroom until I get out of bed the next day. Then I place them back on the nightstand the next morning. I also don't touch any of my house plants or any other possibly toxic household items right before bed. And if I do, I wash my hands before I get in bed. Tip number 11 and the most important tip. Don't be afraid of your house plants. I touch mine all the time with my bare hands. I love on them all the time. I clean them with my bare hands. I place them all over my house, including my kitchen, my dining room, my bathroom, and all other areas of my home. I have over 100 plants. And I don't ever want to think about living in my house without my plant babies. They are so good for you. And they are filled with so many great benefits. Soon, I will start a new series with five episodes on using indoor plants in your kitchen with the color gray. I will show you different styles you can use to decorate an entire kitchen with indoor plants using the color gray and other color combinations. I'm very excited about those upcoming five kitchen episodes. In the meantime, there's a video on the screen right now where you can go and watch some other kitchen designs with indoor plants. So please guys, subscribe, comment, like, and share. And don't forget to watch the video on the screen. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.